Right then, good morning folks and welcome back to another episode. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying some LRF fishing. So after yesterday's uh, lure fishing session, um, we had an absolute blinder, caught mackerel, uh, scad, there's an awesome bass as well on the top waters. Uh, so today we're going to try something a little bit different. I've never tried LRF before. Uh, my lovely wife and kids bought me a set for my birthday this year. Uh, so I'm going to show you all the bits and pieces I'm going to be using today. Um, and then we'll crack on and see if we can catch some fish. Right, so back out of the game. Lovely 3am start. Loving these early mornings at the minute. Um, so the rod I'm going to be using. I can see that's better. The rod I'm going to be using for LRI fishing is the H2O Rockfish Game. It's a 6.6 foot rod. 1 to 7 grams. And, and it's 1.98 metres if you want it in metres. Uh, pairing that with a really small... Uh, rockfish, I think this is a 2,000 reel. Yeah, I believe it's a 2,000 reel, so paired up with the reel there. Uh, you've got a 6 pound braid on there. And then tied onto that is an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. Which would be about 1.5 to 2 feet. And then we've got a range of different lures to try. H2O lures. Uh, the popular I have so many lures in different colours. The clip I'm going to be using today is the Gemini Snoo Clip. If you guys know of a better snoo, better clip to clip on the lures, please let me know. Um, and then I've got a selection of Cheb weights there and other weights to use with the lures a bit later on. Predominantly today we're going to be using um, metal lures, which are here. These are H2O Shore Jigs and H2O Tic Tacs. They're going to be the lures we're going to be predominantly using, but we will have a play around with these really small paddle tails and things like that as well. So that's my plan. First things first, then we need to set up the rod, and I need to tie it on a shock leader. Right, so here's the rod out of the rod bag. I say it's a really nice rod, very, very thin, and uh, the tip is very, very soft. So, I mean, playing fish on this is going to be an absolute, absolute lovely experience, um, and even a mackerel is going to feel absolutely incredibly massive. Uh, playing it on this, so yeah, it says on the thing high sensitivity, high performance. So yeah, awesome. Right, so rod and reel set up. I just need to tie on my shock leader. So let's open the shock leader box. Take our shock leader up. What we're going to do is we're going to fold the shock leader over on itself, like so. Pass the braid up through the hole. It's a nice long bit of braid. And we're going to wrap the braid round up, over, up and over the two pieces of line. You do that twelve times because the line is very thin. And then I'm just going to pass it back down through the hole that we started there. And then I'm just going to pull that nice and tight, moistening the knot, and then pulling that nice and tight, pulling on both the ends, and just pulling that down to form a nice knot. And cut off the tangins. Measure out how long we want our leader, and the knot, which would be about up there, I think. And we'll just cut that. Right, so after we've got our shock leader on, what we want to do now is tie on our clip. Like I said, I'm just using the Gemini Snoo clips today, nice small clips. And so, if you know of any specific LRF clips that are really good, please do let me know. straight through the eye now we're just going to use a standard six turn blood knot Let's 
Can you shut that down? Cut the tag in though. And that is our clip on there. All we need to do now is add our, add our, add our lure, which, like I said today, we're going to start off by using a nice silver H2O Shore jig. Just going to clip that on there, and that is ready to go. Right, so we're all set up, ready to go. I've seen a few splashes in the water already, which looks promising, which I believe is going to be another sort of round of the same thing yesterday. Coarse mackerel to start, followed by a couple of mackerel as the sun comes up. So we've got about an hour before the sun starts to come up. First cast, let's give it a go. A lot of cast really nice. Reel is very, very smooth. So we're on the red light today. So a nice little tap there. I'm just looking around the water to see if you can see any splashes. Okay, that's me just bouncing on the bottom there. Let's cast it out a little bit further. Then. used to this it's really 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 light <laughs> completely different to the other lure setup couple of splashes now. The fire dancing across the top of the water. Yep, I can see where the splashes are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast directly into the splashes. Like we did yesterday. Oh, yeah, nice big splash over there now. And we're just going to retrieve it back through through the area that I've seen the splashing in. Just to see if we can pick up a fish. and a lot of splashes in the water. Okay, so the first fish on. The first fish on. Definitely feels a lot different to the normal lure fishing setup I've got. It's definitely a it's a much better, much better fight to be fair, but I knew it would be because of the setup is so small. Tip of the rods right bent over. Very good fun. I'm just playing the fish in that. It's a horse mackerel. Well, it might be a mackerel. There we go. 
And that's it. There you go. Okay, so our first fish on the LRF gear, which I thought would be, is a nice size horse mackerel. See there. And the H2O shore jig, just lip hooked, lightly lip hooked. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab, oh, if he stops flipping around. There we go. I'm just going to grab my forceps, which are in my pocket. And then without touching the fish, we're just going to grab the hook, which is there. And then just shake him off. Just grab him by the tail. And then we're just going to pop him back. There we go. Oop, he's in. He'll go off in a second. There we go, get his bearings. And then off he goes into the water. Great little fight. So Chris and the new rod. A new LRF setup. First fish or horse mackerel. Which actually gave a pretty good account of itself to be fair. And it was really good fun in this light gear. So it's all about trying new things. And man, I think <laughs> if you get a decent sized bass on this, it's gonna go like a steam train. Have to wait and see. But yeah, Ooh, I thought we was into another fish there. I think we just got caught on the bottom. Yeah, we're banging again. Banging again. Man, definitely get a good fight on this light gear. I'm really enjoying this. On a second fish now. In the darkness. Pulling away like a good. straight towards us. And that's a mackerel. Awesome, so hit two species straight away. Mackerel and a horse mackerel. Awesome. There we go, it's a mackerel there. Again, really nicely lip hooked with the H2O shore jig. Absolutely awesome. All right, so again, same on hooking process. I'm just gonna locate the hook, which is there, flip the mackerel up. Just grab the tail lightly with the forceps, but I don't want to squeeze them together because they'll damage the tail. And then we're literally just going to pop the mackerel back in. And away he goes. Okay, so we're back into another fish. This one seems slightly smaller. It might have just hopped off. So I think we just lost that one. Yep, we just lost that one which is a pain in the back side but we will go again we shall go again day is starting to break yeah, I'm just going to pick it up on the camera probably not daylight is starting to break To another small fish here. Yeah, another small fish here. No, no. Oop. Just spat the hook right on my feet. Horse mackerel, that one. I think these fish are getting a bit clever now. They saw me down here yesterday, and now they're like, that guy wants to catch you, run away as fast as you can. There we 
get. It takes it so much more aggressive on this small setup. This feels like a better fish. Oh no, it's back, it's back the hook again. They're pretty good at spitting the hooks, these big ones. So maybe on the shore, shore jigs, jigs, a treble on the bottom would be a bit of a better, better idea. Oh, I thought it was in again. Eh? Yeah, it's on the side of the shore jigs. They've got a single assist hook. So I mean, maybe a smaller treble on the on the bottom would be a, a better choice. I say, if you guys would do it a lot, let me know what you prefer. A lot of little plucks. No takes as of yet. You can see quite a lot of movement in the water, like the same as yesterday. Not massive shoals, but little pockets of fish. Just moving up and down. Like I said before, no hordes of white bait beaching themselves. We're just at the very start of what could be a very good late mackerel season if things go to plan. Oh man, that mackerel followed it right in and then decided to turn it at the last minute. Yeah, we're in there. We are in there. There we go, another horse mackerel. There we go. There we go, and look at that for a morning view. Absolutely beautiful. Day is starting to break, I'm feeling good. We've had a couple of fish in so far. I've christened me LRF gear. Hopefully we can catch a couple more fish before work this morning. Absolutely beautiful. And we are in again. Oh, this seems like a nice fish. Oh, there's a nice big bass floating just by my feet there. Yeah, this is running quite well. I'm tighten the drag up on this one. Yeah, this is playing quite nice, this one. I don't know what this could be. I think this may be our first bass. I'm hoping it's going to be our first bass. Pulling very nicely. Can I land a bass on this LRF gear today? It should be. Oh, it looks like a bass. It looks like a bass. No, it's just a very big mackerel. Man, that is a big mackerel. 
see that compared to my foot. There's a jumble mackerel. <laughs> That's the same size as my foot, man. Same size. That's bigger than my size. Size 12 shoe. Mental. I honestly thought that was a bass. The way that was going. Such good fun. Such good fun. Ooh. Grab it. Grab it by the tail. Man, this is so big. There we go. The size of the blinking thing. Back in he goes. What an awesome fight that was. I did see a bass patrolling up and down behind mackerel, so anytime soon, hopefully, should be able to nail one. Back out we go. Look at that, absolutely glorious. Back into another fish again now. Man, the action on this rod is so good. Playing this fish. Such good sport. Well, any lure fishing is good sport, really, but this is. This is proper good. It's another mackerel. Some of these mackerel are really big. Some nice big mackerel. Going another, another, another rocket ship sized mackerel. Just gonna quickly unhook this one. Uh, we're getting four steps in the pocket. Check the head on. Grab it, pick up the tail. Not too hard for the tail. You don't want to damage the fish. And they're literally just flopping back in. And off he goes. Minimal contact with the fish. Don't get yourself in dirty. Come back in and we can just enjoy the sport. So a lot of people say that if you handle mackerel, I mean they don't go back too well. I don't scientifically know myself personally to be able to pass a judgment on that. Oh man, straight back in. But you know, if we're not taking them to eat, then we should be putting them back responsibly as anglers. Whoa! Whoa, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. I don't know what the hell this is. But that is pulling very nice. I'm swimming very fast. Is this the bass that we were looking for? No, it's another mackerel. Man, these mackerel are going like absolute rockets this morning. Absolute rockets. Day is breaking. We've had a nice handful of fish this morning. Mackerel and scab. I'm looking for a bass. I say once the day breaks. Wow, we're straight back into another fish. She's straight on the cast. Straight on the cast as that dropped. Bang into another fish. So much fun. So much fun. Oop. It's another mackerel. Fight so good on this light gear. So I'm hooking quickly. Ooh. This fish is so quick. I'm just gonna slide this one back in there. Is he gonna go? Not your mouth. There we go. Oh. 
back off he swims. Whew. Such good fun. Feel and pluck in it a lot. Yeah, that's a take. Nice and close in. Oh, jeez, man, that flipped the lure right at me. Like I said, I think this lure needs some kind of treble on the bottom. Maybe just to take the assist hook off and just bang it with a treble one. I'm not sure. It works good, but you're getting quite a lot of the converted takes into missed fish. Or well, they're coming off. Another horse mackerel to add to the list. There we go. So the horse mackerel mixed in with the mackerel today. Yesterday we had the horse mackerel during the night hours. And then we had the mackerel during the... Oh, during the daylight hours. Stop messing around. Straight in on the drop, man. We'll see it is alive now with small pools of fish. Another one come off. They're quite aggressive now. Quite aggressive now. You can feel all their little hits on the lure. That's it. Mackerel in. Right, so I've had a couple of mackerel and horse mackerel. Uh, I'm just going to change over to a small paddle tail, which is here. H story French fry. We're going to give that a go and see how we get on with that. Right, so the French fry is in. Will we get any hits on the tiny little paddle tail? Oh, man, we're straight in on the paddle tail. Straight in. They're hitting it. They are hitting it. So we have one hit, no conversion. Gotta cast it back out again. Second go, nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> and pop the French fry again. Man, these mackerel are good at popping the wheels. back in on the french fry and we landed one and the pink french fry has landed a fish right so i want to go for a bass and the other a little bit bigger there you go rooney's bulb tails i think now give this one a go to the shoji. Back in already on his own.
satu. So, so much fun on this road here. Absolutely incredible. Awesome. So you guys, this is why I come fishing early in the morning. Look at that incredible sunrise. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. love to live by the sea. Alright, so we have a couple more casts. Like I say, it'll be interesting to know if uh, you can
can get top water lures for these light LRF setups. If anyone, if you can, anyone knows anything, please let me know. So I'll be interested in trying uh, top watering with these um, LRF rods. Fantastic morning on the scatter mackerel. I've really, really enjoyed it so far. Um, fishing ultralight is definitely fun, definitely, definitely fun, and I'm glad uh, I took a plunge to get a LRF rod and reel, which I'm super happy about. That's in the wrong bottom now. It's also good to meet Ben and Hannah and uh, Aiden on the beach today. They were long time supporters of myself and the channel. So uh, shout out to you guys. It's good to see you and have a, have a little fish with you. Straight in on the drop on that one. Another mackerel in the bag. Tons of mackerel. It's taking me all the way down there. What are we doing down there, buddy? I'm over it. Gee, that nearly clumped me on the head, that one. Also, if you fish LRF and you use these type of metal jigs, the H0 Shore jigs, uh, let us know what you do to stop the fish from spitting the hook. Do you whack that extra treble on the bottom? Which I'm presuming. Uh, would be a good idea if you wanted to keep the fish that you're catching. Lots of white bait jumping out of the water there. And we're back into another fish. Action on the top of this rod is so good. Another macro again. I could sit here fishing with this rod for hours. Oops, there he's up. Climbing up my pants and shorts. And we're just gonna back in he goes. Right, so I've literally caught a whole lifetime supply. Of mackerel this morning, they are plentiful and in abundance. So, need to change up things. I don't really fancy catching mackerel, 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 which is good fun. I mean, I'm, I'm really glad I tried out the setup, but I would like to try something else. So, let's go for some of this. Pink ice zone. So I've never tried this before, it's so, you know, all new to me. And we're going to go for a in the middle a cheb setup. So I'm going to go for a five gram cheb. That's 
so I have no idea what I'm doing with this. So we are going to learn together. Oh, probably before I lose that jab in the stones, it will probably be good to fix it to the lure rod. So Cheb goes on the clip. So I hope I've set this up right. Such an amateur at this. Right, so Cheb on the clip there. Then we're going to take our pink isome, or whatever you call it. It says here to peel the tab, which is there, and then in we go. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what the hell to use. So I'm just going to cut a piece there. I don't know how long you use this, so we're just going to cut a piece there. Cut a small piece off, don't want to use loads. Smells pretty good. God, it smells like raspberry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed part of this isomi onto the hook, which is going to be incredibly fiddly. Man, you need some proper good eyes for this. Alright, so I'm just giving the Cheb and I Sony a go in pink. Like I say, I don't know. Don't really know how to fish LRF. And I have to do the, the jigging and that, just cast out, read in, and boom. But when it comes to all the small stuff and the finesse sort of stuff, uh, definitely something I've got to learn. I've lost my piece of worm, so I need to figure out another way of how to attach the worm to the hook. Right, so last couple of casts of the day we're going to do with this H2O Tic Tac, I believe it's called. Very small uh, metal jig, just took on the side. To be honest with you, I do feel a lot more comfortable using the metals uh, over the soft plastics. I do need to research um, into how to you know, properly utilise the soft plastics and things like that. But yeah. But we did have two really nice bass follows uh, all the way right close in using the uh, the bigger Rooney's bolt tail lures. Uh, so I might have to get different colour variations of those um, going forward if we're going to make this a permanent thing. Let's give this a couple of chucks and see if we get any hits.
There's nothing so far on the Tic Tac. I think the mackerel may have dispersed and disappeared. There seem to be quite a lot of them earlier, but like I say, as soon as that sun comes up, they seem to disappear. Whoa, that was a nice big bass jump out of the water over there then. Airborne. Bass mullet, I don't know, did bass jump out of the water? That was like proper out of the water and then back into the water. Crazy. Right guys, that's another session done for me. Uh, two mornings, two early morning starts, 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, first one as you guys have seen uh, lure fishing was absolutely awesome um, it had that really good bass uh, today's fishing we tried um, LRF which is a completely different style of fishing um, it's really really light really really good fun I really really enjoyed it uh, the rod and reel setup we used was a H2O rockfish game uh, which performed absolutely fantastic and uh, when you had a fish on you could feel every single little pull and move of the fish which was really really good sport so I would recommend trying it. Uh, I think the setup in total cost me around about 200 quid. Once you get all the lures, bits and pieces, you could probably get set up for around about 150 quid just for the rod, the reel, and a couple of metals. If that's your kind of your kind of thing, and you just want to try it for mackerel fishing and bass, um, I do want to explore the possibilities of looking at different lures to specifically catch bass, especially top water lures as well. So if you guys have any recommendations of any LRF uh, top water lures um, or LRF specifically designed bass lures please let me know so I'd absolutely love to catch a bass on this light gear because I think it would go like a missile and it would be absolutely awesome fun I did have two bass follows uh, using the Rooney's fishing supplies bulk tail lures um, but unfortunately no hookups that's the way the cookie crumbles so thank you very much for watching another video guys um, and I'll see you on the next one cheers